Now let's take a closer look at the oscillator section. Let's start with oscillator 1. Before we start, let's make sure everything else is set to the default values. I'll bring up the volume for oscillator 1 here and also make sure the switch is set on the on position. Make sure the cutoff is at the maximum, emphasis at the lowest, contour amount at zero, attack time on the loudness contour at zero, and sustain here at the maximum. So now when I play a note, we hear a triangle shape because the waveform selector is set to triangle at this octave. If I change this range selector from 16 feet to 8 feet, it goes up an octave, 8 to 4, up another octave, and 2 feet another octave up. Of course, we can also go down to 32 feet, which is the lowest audible octave. Now the numbering is not the usual plus minus 1, 2, 3, 4 octaves, because they're using the organ system of feet to measure octaves. So in a pipe organ, a 32 feet pipe would produce a pitch in that lower octave range. The longer the pipe, the lower the note, and vice versa. Now there's also a low mode, which sets the octave to a very low range that makes the oscillator an LFO. You won't really hear this because it's much lower than the human hearing range. It makes more sense when you use this as a modulator. Now oscillator 1 cannot be used as a modulator, but oscillator 3 can be, and it too has the low option. We'll get back to that later. For now, let's continue with the different shapes on oscillator 1. We looked at the triangle. As you can see in the oscilloscope, it's not a perfect triangle, but it does sound very much like one. Next, we have this strange hybrid between a triangle and a sawtooth. It has a bit of that buzziness of the sawtooth, but yet has the deepness of the triangle. Next is a more traditional sawtooth. Classic sound, a lot of bottom end in that. Next is the square pulse shape. I hope you can hear the difference between this and the sawtooth. The sawtooth is outright buzzy, while the square is a bit buzzy but has a more hollow sound. It might be more obvious in the lower register. See, a lot more buzzy when I shift to the sawtooth. Okay, so that's the square. Next is a pulse, which is not a pure square. The pulse width is higher than 50%, so it's just a pulse wave with the positive and negative phase of the wave being unequal. Comparing that to the square, you can see the square looks more equal and this one has a narrower side. Now sonically, this results in a bit more buzz than the square. It has even and odd harmonics, while the square only has odd harmonics. Then finally you have another pulse with an even thinner pulse or a higher duty cycle. Makes the sound thinner, more nasal compared to the other. So you essentially get three variations to the pulse shape.
So that's the range and waveform control on oscillator 1. Next, we will check out oscillator 2. 